Let's make a hippie birthday card together. Hi friends, Dre here. In today's card, I'm gonna be using this cute stamp set from Stampin' Up! from 2001. I picked it up at Scrap Reuse Store a while ago, and then I'm gonna be using my VersaFine ink today. I have this uh, stamp positioner that I just made with Legos and some neodymium magnets on the back, and it really works well to help position my rubber stamps and it's just kind of a homemade thing that I put together, but I can stick it on a magnetic sheet and that works great. Putting that away, I wanted to show you the stamps I picked out. I have this hippie birthday and a little peace sign. I'm not quite sure how I want to lay it out just yet. I'm going to be using my ATG gun for this. The paper I'm using is from a cheaper paper pad and it is super thin. So it's got some cute peace signs on it, and then I have my A2 card base already cut out. This paper is just cut down to be about an eighth of an inch smaller. So I've got my paper down on my magnetic bat, just laying it out, I'm trying to see where I want my stamps to go, just kind of checking out the placement of the stamp on the, on the stamp block there, and then trying to figure out how I want that uh, stamp to be arranged on the page. Since I am gonna only really do stamping on this, it's gonna be a flat card that I wanna keep um, really minimal to get it um, through the mail in one piece. So I think I'm happy with this layout and I'm going to use my Lego homemade stamp positioner with magnets on the back and just kind of place it in the corner around the stamp and then I can ink up my stamp. Now, I do have to kind of be extra careful, and I have to just hold the positioner in place while I put the stamp down. But then once it's there, um, you know, I just kind of press my stamp down using pressure all over the block, and I get a really nice impression. I feel like um, the stamp positioner is more of my, like, security blanket. It's my backup <laughs> in case something goes wrong. I haven't really found that I have a whole lot of problems with rubber stamps, and uh, but I've never used these stamps before. I'm stamping directly onto my pattern paper, and you know, something could go wrong. I haven't even tried doing a first stamp with these yet, um, so I don't know. I was kind of being a little bit uh, risky <laughs> when I tried stamping directly on the paper, but I figured uh, my stamp positioner would help me uh, prevent any any huge problems. So I positioned my stamps, I got them just where I wanted, and I, I think that looks super cute. Look at that. But it still feels like there's something missing. So I'm going to go back to that stamp set and see if there's something else that can fill in some of those empty spaces. And I find this little flower stamp. So I've pulled out my magnets. Um, these are just some extra neodymium magnets that I've covered with uh, washi tape. And it's very bright washi tape, so I don't lose them. Uh, and now I'm just gonna try and see if I can put this, this little flower um, on the, use the flower stamp on the card front and just kind of fill in some of those blank areas that seem just a little bit too boring, too much white space. Um, I'm not necessarily opposed to white space or clean and simple cards. I just felt like this is a birthday card. It needs a little bit more fun and excitement. So that's why I went with getting another thing on the page. So. I'm try because I've never used these stamps before, I'm really trying to make sure I get a good impression from the very first stamping and that I don't have to use my positioner at all. Like I'm being very careful about how I lay it out. Um, but, you know, I think if I was to go back and do this card again, I might try not putting my hippie birthday at such an angle or I might try using a lighter ink. I think the black on the kind of pale blue is a little too harsh. Maybe it would have been cute if I had used a different color. I think the reason I went with black is because the pattern paper is 
a pale blue with black peace signs all over it. And I was thinking in my head, hey, the black coordinates, it's a color I already have. I know that this will work. So I was just trying to get something quick put together and, and not really overthink it too much. I do have some more of this paper and I might try making a few other cards with this stamp set and just see if I can come up with a different layout that I am a little bit happier with. I think I always try to go and approach my card making with the men mindset that I'm just playing, I'm just having fun and I'm just trying out. This really is just an experiment to try out some new stamps that I had purchased at the reuse store, they're new to me, and see how I liked using them, see if they were good quality. I have never actually used uh, Stampin' Up! brand stamps before, so I was pretty happy with how they turned out. And I have to say, I really do love using uh, my rubber stamps. I love being able to give them new life. So here's that layout finished. I think it looks super cute. Um, all done with that, and now I just need to feel like it needs something extra, something sparkly, something fun. I'm not sure, but once I get it here on the card front uh, or on the card base, I just feel like it it needs something else. What could I do? I'm racking my brain like, should I get out some washi? Should I pull out some ribbon? Does it need some gems? Um, and so I pulled out this gold pen. This is a Pilot G2 pen. In, I got a pair of them in gold and silver. So my first thought was, let me just fill in the centers of those little flowers with the gold pen, and that'll just give it a little extra something. But once I did that, I felt like it wasn't really very obvious. The gold shimmer isn't very noticeable. I tried kind of wiggling it and turning it in the light and it just didn't seem like it was giving me that um, party <laughs> vibe that I was thinking about I needed to add just to give it a little something extra. So I'm kind of not sure where to go next. So I decided stickles it is, who can say no to glitter glue? And I'm using the color rose gold for this. I did think about using gold, but I felt like on the pale blue uh, of this card. I don't know, it just feels like rose gold is kind of a trendy, cute color, and I just wanted to see how that would look. I did get this rose gold sticker stickles um, recently at a local craft store, um, not a big box craft store, um, and I wanted to see how this color turned out. I, I just was, you know, you know how it goes when you sometimes just go to a store just to check it out and you feel obligated to buy something. So this was my obligation purchase, but I'm happy with it. I don't have that color, but I do have a lot of card making and cards that I think this color will look nice with. A lot of kind of browns and coppers and um, metallics will look nice with this color. So sometimes the gold that I have is just a little bit too yellow and it doesn't really blend well with the other colors that are on my card. So I am just nothing if not a perfectionist. Sometimes I just go back over and I'm like, what else does it need? Where else can I put glitter? So I decided to add the glitter to the exclamation point, the little dot on the exclamation point, and also to the eyes, the dots of the eyes on the hippie and the birthday. And then I figured, you know, while I'm here, might as well just throw another little dot into the center of that peace symbol. But if I had thought this through, which, you know, I obviously wasn't really thinking ahead too far on what I, how I was going to embellish this. Um, I didn't really have any sort of plan in place. I just knew this is the paper I wanted to use, and these were the stamps I wanted to use, and this was the ink I wanted to use. If I would have planned it out ahead, I probably would have um, glued it down to my card base and then put the stickles on, uh, because what ended up happening is that I had to um, kind of let the 
top piece dry and then wait until that was dry and come back and glue it on. So that's something that I think is just, you know, lesson learned. The next time I come back and make one of these cards and I am going to embellish it, I'll, I'll try to think that through. So last, I've waited for it to dry. I waited maybe, it doesn't take too long for stickles to dry. I think I went down and had dinner and then I came back up and finished this card. So maybe an hour, it, it was totally dry by then. And I'm using my ATG gun to glue the back. I always, I don't, I'm curious what you guys do, but I always go around all four edges on my thinner cardstock. And then I do like the, the middle, the little X in the middle. Um, you can see that the glue is so strong that it kind of pulls the cardstock back because it's, this is really more like paper. It's not even cardstock, I would say. Um, it's, it's as thin as printer paper. Um, you know, those cheat packs that you get sometimes that have like 150 uh, pattern papers in it. Um, when I got started early on into my hobby, I was trying to make, you know, good value purchases. And I ended up buying a lot of really poor quality cheap paper. Uh, and it's taking me a long time to use it up. So when I found this stamp, I was excited. The stamp said I was excited because I knew that I would be able to use some of these papers with it. And so this was a fun experiment. So I'm just kind of pressing lightly down on all the areas that I um, glued. And I'm trying to avoid pressing down on some of the places that I inked. I'm sure the ink is dry. I just want to be you know, cautious. And there's a finished card. I think she turned out super cute. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my other videos. Thanks so much. Have a great day.